Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a huge haul. I have a lot of fragrances here to cover that I picked up over the course of a couple of weeks. It's a collective haul. Before we get into this haul, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now and hit the like button and activate the notification bell. And let's get right into this video because we have a lot of fragrances to cover. The first fragrance I picked up is Dahlia Divine Nectar. This is a tester. This is the Eau de Parfum. It's the 75 ml. So it comes in this white bottle as testers usually do. It's never been used before. It's brand new. And uh, most of these were purchased off of FragranceNet.com. This is what the bottle looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It has this gold threading running through the cap. And it's just a beautiful presentation. Beautiful bottle. And uh, I have smelled the Dahlia Devine fragrance a while back at Ulta. I was not blown away by it, but I did see some great reviews online about this one. This is a flanker to the Dahlia Divine, and I wanted to pick it up really bad. I love the notes in it. I love the description and everything about it. So let's get into the scent. So this opens up with a beautiful mimosa, honey-like scent. It's so delicious, it's sweet, it's nectar, it's truly nectar. This also has jasmine, it has rose, and it dries down to a beautiful vanilla sandalwood. So this is very sweet, it's intoxicating. Um, imagine getting all these beautiful florals and getting the nectar the juice of these florals out and putting them in this bottle. It's very aromatic. It's very sensual. It smells exotic. This is a quintessential feminine fragrance. This is Beauty in a Bottle. I just love the scent so much. Come on. Oh gosh. This is what I would imagine angels and heaven smelling like it's nectar of the gods it's just divine as the name suggests this is a great evening scent it projects not crazily it creates like a bubble around you that people can smell um, it has great lasting power this gives me a good nine to ten hours this was a blind buy but a really really good one this is a good one, you guys. I am so in love with this. This is a possible replacement for my signature scent, which as you may or may not know, is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle. I might replace that one with this as my signature scent. This is what I wanna smell like at all times. This is me, this is everything that I ever look for in a fragrance. The next perfume that I haul is the Gucci by Gucci. And this is the Eau de Parfum. And the bottle looks like so, it has a charm. I like the way it looks on my vanity. Really nice bottle. The scent is ripe tropical fruits, botanicals. This has guava, juicy pear, tiare, patchouli, and honey. So this is a gourmand fragrance and um, it's warm, it's spicy, it's sweet. I'm up here. So about this fragrance, this was um, a blind buy, you could say, because I don't recall whether I tried this on or not at the stores years ago. I may have, I do not remember. I heard that this one was being discontinued or has been discontinued, but um, I did find this on Fragrance Net and I wanted to pick it up because it sounded like all the notes that I love in my perfume. However, I am not getting all these notes. 
the patchouli is very prominent in here to me. And I have been very sensitive to strong patchouli scents that are not really mixed well into the fragrance. It could also be that this may be old. This may be old. Um, it does have that scent that when the perfume turns, it starts to smell funky uh, because I don't get all the notes that are listed. I'm not crazy about it. It reminds me of a department store smell. It's um, generic uh, to me. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. So Gucci by Gucci. The next one is not a blind buy. I have smelled this numerous times, and this is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. And it's the Eau de Parfum. It's the 50 ml. I have smelled this numerous times. I really liked it. Really liked it. Have been wanting to pick it up and just always put it off for whatever reason. You guys know, you know, we have these huge lists and sometimes we have to make a choice. It's either this one or that one. And we kind of put some, you know, to the back for the time being. But I picked this one up and I'm so happy I did. I'm so glad it's in my collection. This is such a beautiful scent. There's rose, there's mint, carnation, and cannabis in this, although I don't smell any cannabis. It smells so good. It smells like a fresh garden after the rain. Like imagine roses and the greens in the garden after it finished raining and you walk in and you get hit by the smell of these flowers that have just been rained on. It's very crisp, it's fresh, it's minty, it's aromatic, it's a little green. That mint really gives it that nice freshness. Um, this is the first perfume I have with mint in it, and I really love the combination that this creates. And even if you're not a big rose fan, you will love this fragrance because the rose here is not the kind of a ripe, juicy in your face rose. This is more of like a washed down rose. This is kind of a watery type of fragrance. And this is perfect for like any occasion, any time of year. This is a perfect white t-shirt scent. This is a perfect dress up scent. This is a perfect work scent. I've worn it running errands and um, it's just beautiful. The sillage is great. The lasting power is amazing. I get nine to 10 hours out of this easily. And I am so glad to finally have this in my collection. And the next fragrance that I hauled is um, Travel Size. It comes like this from Fragrance Net. I love that they put it in an atomizer for you. And this is Serge Luton's. I'm trying to open it. I just have to twist it up. <laughs> old habits, old habits. Okay, so you twist it up. You don't open it. This is Serge Luton Nuit de Cellophane. And This is a fruity floral. It has apricot, it has mandarin, asmanthus, and white flowers. And this does smell really good. It's very sweet. It's very fresh. It smells like ripe fruits. I get that asmanthus. It's a very sweet apricotty asmanthus, which plays really well with the fruits. I have to wear this a little bit longer to see if I would get like a full size of this. I am enjoying the scent so far. Um, I haven't had that much time with it, but it's very pretty and um, it's very pretty. It's very sweet, very sweet smelling, very gourmand. Um, yeah, I would have to give this a little bit more time and then maybe I'll come back to it and review it and see whether I want to get the full size of this or not. That's a great thing about the travel sizes. If you're not sure, the Serge Luton's house is pretty pricey. Um, it's a niche fragrance, so I would advise, you know, trying it before buying it, especially, I mean, at least this one. I, 
other ones maybe not. This is my first Serge Luton's, so I can't speak on the other ones, but so far, so good. The next fragrance that I hauled is by Banana Republic. It's the Dark Cherry and Amber, and I believe this is one of the newer ones. Um, I accidentally came across this, haven't heard anything about it prior. I This was a blind buy, read some reviews. It sounded good, and because I'm on this cherry kick, I needed this in my life. So it's really cute the way it opens up. It's a drawer like this. And this is the bottle. It's a nice, sturdy, masculine bottle. I like this. I like the color of it. Just like the name, it's dark cherry. It's beautiful. So this is the 75 mil EDP. So in here you get sour cherry, you get pink freesia, cherry blossom, amber, praline, and cedar. So the dry down is very sweet and comforting because of the cedar mixed with the amber. The praline gives it that perfect sweet gourmand touch. The sour cherries are amazing of course. I really enjoy this one. I have not been able to mm, stop wearing this. Uh, I just wish it had more lasting power. The performance on this is not great. Um, I get about four to five hours out of this one. It's not terrible. Um, mm, I'm smelling it right now and that sour cherry and praline and all that goodness is coming through. Mm, so delicious, you guys. So good. Mm, I love this. I am in love with this. So good. I'm so glad I picked this up. And it's not pricey. This was, I think, 30 USD, um, which is a really great price for the quality you're getting. Um, it smells very niche, actually. It's very unique niche. I have another cherry scent, and this smells different, which I like. The two do not smell alike just because they have the sour cherry note, they, um, they smell different. So I like that this is so unique. And this is a perfect scent for any time of year. During the colder months, this will make you feel really warm and cozy. And during the warmer months, this is refreshing because you have that cherry in there and it's not cloyingly sweet. It doesn't have a crazy projection. Uh, like I said, it doesn't stay longer than five hours maybe at the most. So this is very inoffensive, very wearable. I love this. So the next fragrance I picked up is the Mancera Vanille Exclusive. And I think this might be one of their newer ones. It comes in this nice golden pouch. Like this. And then inside you have the bottle, which is like this. It has the Mancera emblem on the cap. And what I love is that this is a magnetic cap. And the exclusive line all comes with magnetic caps. The other ones are twist offs. This, I don't know why I find this so satisfying. All right, let me get back to the fragrance. So this one is whipped cream, brown sugar, peach and samanthus, jasmine tuberose, and violet. And uh, this fragrance is earthy and gourmand. The samanthus in this one is a little bit spicy. It smells a little oody, like it has some oud. It's not listed in the notes, but it just gives that effect perceived notion of oud being in this when you first spray it on. It's a strong, bitter, spicy type of scent. And about 20 minutes, half an hour into it, that goes away and you get this 
amazing vanilla cake smell. There's some peach in it, but mostly it smells like really sweet vanilla cake. It, it starts to smell so delicious. I remember first time putting this on, I was assaulted by the smell of bitterness and spiciness. And I said, oh wow, this is not for me. How am I gonna be able to wear this? But then half an hour later, I smelled my arm and that was gone. It was sweet. It was gourmand. It was a sweet vanilla cake. Here's what I did. I layered these two together and a masterpiece came out. I didn't know I was such a chemist, but I actually accidentally, because I sprayed them next to each other, and these two started to smell like a cherry vanilla cake. They smell so good together. So this prolonged the lasting power of this and the projection. Together, they work perfectly, perfectly. This one is Beast Mode. It has amazing staying power. It stays on 11, 12 hours and then some. And it kept this one on longer. So together, they are the bomb. So the next fragrance I picked up is from the House of Mew Glare and it's Angel Croisier. I actually ordered this from the Mew Glare website. They were having a sale and I went on to see what the sale items were and it turned out that I ended up buying something that was not in sale because this is one of their newer releases. Uh, this came out very recent. It's part of their every summer type of release that they have. This has a beautiful rainbow spectrum. Look at these colors and this bottle is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. The only thing that I would want to change about this is to have it stand up instead of having it lay flat. Just because I like my collection, you know, to have like, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's get to the scent. So I don't own any fig scented fragrances and I have been searching high and low and I was always afraid to try some of the other ones. I didn't know what fig would smell like on me. And by the way, this is the EDT and this is the 50 mil. This is a fruity oriental. So this has magnolia, fig milk, patchouli, and praline. I don't get much patchouli in this one, which is a good thing for me. I love that it's been really toned down to the point where I hardly even notice it. This scent is summery, it's fresh, it's clean. The fig in this, gives it a coconutty scent. So I smell coconut, but it's the fig milk that gives that impression of a coconut. And I love this. This couldn't be more perfect for the summertime. This is perfect summertime scent. It's not as long lasting as the original Angel. And of course, because there is not that much patchouli in it, and I'm totally okay with it. This gives me a great lasting power. This still stays on my skin for eight to nine hours. It has a nice sillage. It's moderate, nothing too crazy. And it's just really tropical smelling. Very clean, very summery, very sweet. I've been loving this. So I received some samples from Mugler website when I bought the fragrance. One of them is the Angel EDT the more recent formulation. I think it's 2017 or 2019, but this is the one where the patchouli is really toned down and this has apple and it's more fruity, more uplifting. I've tried this out and I'm really enjoying this. I might just get the full size because I used to own the original Angel and it used to be my signature scent years and years ago. And uh, it got to the point that I could not wear it anymore, so I never repurchased it and I never looked back. But this might bring me back to my angel. I also received Alien Fusion sample, which I haven't tried before. To me, it smells like the original Alien. I don't detect any difference. So I'm not going to purchase the full size just because it smells just like the original angel. 
alien. Not angel, alien. And I also received the Aura Mugler. And this is a green vanilla. So you have the green scents in this herbal scents mixed with vanilla. I'm not loving it. Um, I didn't enjoy it. Um, I wanted to try it out, of course, give it a fair shot, but it's it's not for me. So I'm gonna pass by this one as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this long haul. I'm sweating here. Whew, I need a drink. This has been a long one. I hope you guys are all hydrated. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have tried any of these, what you think about them, what you have hauled lately, or what you're wishing to purchase, or just any comment as far as what kind of content you would like to see from me next. Love hearing from you and hope to see you back here soon.